Welcome back to my channel. This is Lori, the Crafter in the Mitten. And what I thought I would do was do a collage, a master collage board here. But the main reason I'm want, wanting to do this is because when I go to, to town or go to festivals or whatever this summer, I start talking about my channel to people and they're like, well, do you have a business card? And I'm like, uh, no. So I thought, hmm, maybe I'll make some ACTs. Um, or a, yeah, ATCs for artist trading cards. I thought, well, you know, that'd be a great idea, Lori, duh. That way I can give a sample to them of my work. And then on the back side, I thought I would put my, you know, my channel name in that. It can't hurt, and, you know, you just gotta promote yourself. So anyway, um, I don't know if everyone's familiar with ACTs. Um, actually, I've never really made one before, but they look really fun and they don't look too complicated. So I thought, you know, we can make these together. So if you want, go ahead and craft along with me today. Uh, please subscribe to my channel while you're thinking about it, while I'm mentioning it, uh, and um, like it, share it with your friends, and come on, let's let's go along and let's, let's just get to it. So what I thought I'd do is I'm gonna make a simple collage board. I'm basically gonna use old uh, book pages and some little scraps, and I have all these cutoffs that I've done from, you know, uh, what do you call it? scrapbook paper and that there's tons of them and then you know there's not much to do with this little these little cutoffs here and there so I thought you know those are for collages so I thought I would do some of those so here we go let's just get to it so I'm gonna just go ahead and just glue these down I'm just using the glue stick I think this particular glue stick has gotten kind of dry it's supposed to be blue it's not it's white whatever as long as it works and if I run out of it I've got my little handy dandy Amazon Amazon one so I've already torn a few off just uh let me get the one here like I said I'm not being real fussy about this this is just collage board it's just going to be a background and I thought I'd just give people a little sample of what I do and so this is what I'm doing <laughs> and I don't care what weight direction the print's going just put it down put this little strip here down oh what am I oh uh, what I'm um paper I'm using for my base is a piece of junk mail actually it's an advertisement for a discover card i get these in the mail all the time but i like the size of them most of them i throw away the vast majority of them i got one a couple days ago and i said i'd keep it just gives me a nice size sheet of paper it's a throwing it in the trash I like a collage on it, so that's basically what I'm doing here. You can use any size of paper. I have some 12 by 12 scrapbook paper from a really long time ago, and in my opinion, the paper is like really ugly. So I'm going to use that for collage paper. So, you know, this is low budget crafting, which I like. You make something beautiful out of just junk. Isn't that where the word junk journal come from? <laughs> so that's what we're doing. And I like to try to show you how to do things on, on a budget, especially right now. It seems like everybody's kind of hurting for cash. So, you know, why not use what we have sitting around our house? And have fun with it. What's it going to hurt? If it turns out we don't like it, well, there's nothing lost doing that. You can, didn't lose anything. We just had fun. You know, it's the process that I like. It's actually the process I like more than uh, than the item I actually get out of it. I seem to have a lot of this. Okay, I like it. 
about this print I have. It just always takes my eye for some reason. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I don't know if I have that white border on it necessarily, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tear that off. Doesn't have to be perfect. And it's not gonna be perfect. This is a book I got at the garage sale for like a dime or something. So I haven't I haven't even read it. I don't even think about it. <laughs> it's just a book I don't think I'd feel bad about tearing up, so that's what I'm doing with it. Let's see what I have here. Randomly grabbing some that can go over top of something. And layer up. layer on top. I'm just I'm not trying to overthink anything. I'm just kind of grabbing things. I don't even know if I'm going to keep 100% inside of a color scheme. I think I keep my colors somewhat cohesive or going together. Maybe the blues and greens. This here is um, packaging from a, let's say, Dina Wakely. Um, mixed media journal, art journal. Like, here we go. This is the back side of it. Dilutions. Okay, that was close. It's dilutions. So I keep a little bit of everything. You just kind of have to think outside the box a little than you normally do. There's some more of that right here. This is what it looks like. This is what it was a creative journal. I have a couple of those. I really like art journaling. Uh, junk journaling came along for me because I couldn't afford all those books to buy at the time. They were like, I don't know, $20, $25 a book. And I thought, you know, I really enjoyed doing it, putting paint on things and, and things like that. And then, I don't know, I just, I don't mind how I found it. Uh, I rented somebody's YouTube channel or whatever and they were making junk journals and I thought, oh, yeah, ha! I can make junk journals, and then I can decorate them and make my own art books. I think the first one I seen was just, they were making a, a journal, um, not a journal, well, they were making an art journal, but they were using watercolor paper, and they were doing just a plain cover, so they could just, you know, do their doodles in, they were saying it was cheaper to make your own. Anyway, you know how it is when you watch YouTube, you end up down a bunny hole, you don't even remember how the heck you got down there. It's one of those things. So, okay, I think I got quite a few there to pick from. So, most of these to the side. Throw me down some more um, boot pages. Okay, I'm just going to kind of throw these down randomly. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on this at the moment because I want to show you more decorating. So, you might see me skip through this pretty quickly. I might put it on hyperspeed. I don't know. We'll see. I really like this. I think this, I'm pretty sure this is from Graphic Scary. Not 100%, but I'm pretty sure it was.
From a distance, it looks like Christmas trees. <laughs> when I'm looking through the camera. But it's butterflies. Butterflies. There's butterflies. covered so that here here and here okay I managed to keep everything within the same palette pretty much greens and blues and turquoise in this um paper here <laughs> book page <laughs> in, that, in that color so this is the first stage and the back side because I'm gonna put my right my craft room, the mitten, and my channel, and that kind of information. I think I'm just gonna like put plain pieces of paper on this back side. Something like this. I'm just gonna put that on the back. But this is where I'm gonna stop for right now. Then I'll come back and do the rest. Anyway, we'll see you in a few minutes or a few seconds, actually. All right. So now the master board is dry, and I also made another. Um, a couple other smaller master boards, which I'll show you here in just a moment. But I wanted to show you this awesome treasure. These are vintage stamps that my neighbor gave me. Yeah, gave me. Can you believe it? And there's some really cool things. Like, look at this finger pointing stamp. You know how Tim Holtz has his? This is like a real authentic vintage one. I think it's so cool. So this is a really cool one. Well, all of them are cool. And then look at this one. It says the word for. Look at that font. I don't know if you can see that font very well. And three quarters. And there's a quarter, a half, comma, period, um, cent. Some of them are missing, as you can tell. Um, division sign. Um, this is lb but i don't know what lb means um i think this was someone's they had a business of some sort i don't know and it was an old old ink pad i threw that away it was dried up and it looked terrible um anyway so i thought i'd use some of these stamps on my master boards here so i thought that would be cool because the font's so cool and then got the old finger i may or may not use that one because it's pretty big and then I thought I would use the three quarters, wherever I did with that, disappeared. Oh, here it is. I thought I'd use the three quarters because that, that's very interesting. Um, let's pick a number. Number, 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 number. Number eight. I like eights. And these will also be affinity signs. Let's, okay. let's just go with this. I don't want to use too many. I don't want it to be, you know, a mess. So let me move this. And this is an old mouse pad that I use to stamp on so it has some give. That's just a little stamper's hack here. All right, so here's the other two master boards I made. These were cardboard that I used before. Um, I got a blanket. You know how they put the paper on and wrap it up with a ribbon in that? Well, anyway, that's what this is. And had some... Um, Sewing old sewing pattern that I just glued here and some tissue paper from um, when I was splatter painting. See right here, some. I thought I'd put this on some of my stuff, or on some of these boards. But I want to do some stamping first and then we may put some transparent papers on. Okay. I don't really want to go with black ink because I think black is going to be a little too stark. So I'm kind of going for a little more vintage look. Right, let's see how let's see what happens here. I'm just gonna randomly put it in here. Oh, I forgot to put my my thing down. Put this at number eight here. I kind of think this is cool 
because this is legitimately vintage stamps to see how they they got that vintage look to them that's pretty cool maybe one of these here so this turns out Oh, barely see it. Oh, that's a bummer. I probably need to clean these stamps. But anyway, I'm still going to use them because, like I said, I want a vintage feel, vintage look here. So I'm still going to use them right now. Skip CPR. Make that work. Yeah. You can still kind of tell. Let me do the three quarters. Well, that looks nice. Do another three quarters. Let me do it like right there. Get the word four here. A little bit of stamping. And maybe I want to change up my stamps a little so everything doesn't look the same. How about the letter R? Why the letter R? I don't know. <laughs> it just, just took my eye. Oops, I forgot to put the. That turned out pretty good. I might speed this up uh, so you don't have to, have to do every single one of them here. here I put just a little bit of water I just want to water it down just a tiny bit because I want to decoupage some um, things on here some homemade decoupage paper that I made I'll show it to you here in just a little bit all right so here's some of that tissue paper all I did was stamp it plain old tissue paper with the stamped images so what I want to do is I'm going to tear some of this off and just decoupage it on these boards here. So I'm just gonna randomly pick something that like maybe this um, uh, clock here. And I can use a little bit of water on my brush to do that. Do this. Just a little bit so I can outline that. It makes it easier to tear here. And then I just want to oh, tear some of these other edges off of it. You can see what I'm doing. Sorry if I got a frame there. But I'll be doing a couple more here. So, anyway, so let's try this little clock. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I thought I'd try it. It's okay there. Let's just try that. Let me see this blue. Yeah, it's a nice thin coat of blue. I'm just going to place that there. Put a little blue on top.
right? So I'm gonna set these aside to dry and I'll be back with you in just a couple moments or so. Now to the fun part, we're gonna cut these here. So let me grab them real quickly. And um, ACTs, they are two and a half by three and a half inches. I looked it up on the internet, if you're interested. So that's what we're gonna cut these down to. Now I don't know how this is gonna work out. I'm gonna flip them over to be completely surprised. And let's see what happens here. I'm just trying to get my bearings here. Okay. Um, I don't know how, what this measures out to be. This is like seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So it's square. Okay. So let's just go for it. What I say, two and a half by three and a half. Let's do this one first. Three and a half. It's going to be two and a half. And this one measures, I'm just curious what it measures, two inches. No, two and a quarter. It's a little small, but that's okay. Let's mark a business card side. But this is, you know, something I'm going to hand out to people anyway when they ask me about what do I do or what my channel is, whatever. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exactly. It's interesting how these turn out. Okay, let's do those. Let's do these ones. This, I say three and a half, right? So let's. This back to its three and a half. It might already be three and a half or close to it. It's three and a half here. Sort of trims a teensy bit off. Flip these all over, and we'll have a surprise at the end. How's that sound? That sounds kind of fun. So hang around so we can see what these turned out like. Yeah. While I'm cutting this, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate it. I'm still consider myself a newer channel. I'm not new, new, but newer. And I can really appreciate that you um, subscribe and also. If you have any friends, any crafty friends that might be interested in junk journaling or whatever, um, you know, tell them about my channel. And share it. It'd be awesome. And if you would like one of my SGTs, SGTs, oh my gosh, that's, that's my corporate job. <laughs> I mean something else. <laughs> Self-guided training is what that means. I meant... If you'd like one of my ACTs, um, go ahead and email me at, uh, oh my gosh, what's my email address? lorand at crafterandthemitten.com. I'll leave a link to it below in case you want, want one. Just let me know and I can send you one. Oops, I'm cheating. I'm not supposed to be cheating. I wasn't even thinking. Okay, now for this one, how are we going to do this one? Mm, maybe I'll do it in the two and a half inch strips first. I don't know what this measures out to be. Let me see. Let's see what makes the most sense here. So we got eight and a half. Eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half. That only gives you two with something left over. Eight and a half by... I'm just guessing here. Twelve. 22 inches, kind of ish. I don't know. So let's just go for it. I'm going to feed this all the way through here. I think what I decided to do just now. 
at the end. It said it would be three and a half. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I got stuff on my desk, stuff in my way here. It's amazing how much stuff you can get on your desk. I get too much stuff here. I'm going to move this best I can. I'm going to try to keep it in frame for y'all. I know you know how to cut, but this gets kind of the fun part is the mystery. Like, whoa, how did it turn out? What do we get? And mind you, I'm still going to be decorating these. These are just the background to the SGTs. Just the background. Uh, I think I forgot to cut one of those cards. Okay, never mind. All of a sudden, this was under there, and I think this is from the first ones we did. I forgot to cut, finish cutting that one. Did you guys see me drop that and not say anything to me? I see how y'all are. I see it. Anyway, I'm, I know I'm flipping over and cheating. I just wanted to see what we got here. Okay, there's a little strip that's left. You could use it as a bookmark, whatever. You get this other little strip. You could add this some something somewhere down the road. I don't throw anything away because I eventually use them. Alright, so now we're gonna do two and a half. All right, now I'm finished cutting them all. Now let's see what we got. I don't know how many we have here. That's a, that's a nice, healthy stack. Let's count them. 19. 12 and 19 is... That was a total of 31. So we have 31 ECTs. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we got here. And remind you, again, this is just the background. We're going to jazz them all up. So let's see. There's one. Turned out pretty interesting. There's another one. You can always turn it whichever way you want to go to decorate it. Your skin is my skin. Sister, my heart, my twin. Sometimes I want to go. Okay, those are not pretty interesting. I'm just flipping around so the writing isn't right set up because we're just be honest, when you go to decorate you don't want to do that. I say I do, I roll out your right side up. In fact, you don't necessarily have to decorate them all going portrait. You could you could decorate them going horizontal too. That one turned out pretty interesting. That one, I'd probably decorate one that way. There's no rules, like everything else. That one turned out pretty interesting. So that one. They all turned out interesting. Like I said, it's just background, so looking at it like this, like, eh, but by the time you jazz it up, 
then it'll be really cute. This one's really plain. But, you know, that gives you, that's like a blank canvas. You can do a lot with that. Another one. This one's, this one's quite noisy. Cool. Oops, I need to tack that down a little better. Anyway, so this is the background. I cut up these master boards. And I think I'll end here because this video will be forever and 20 years long. So I'm going to do a part two of actually decorating these. And I'm also going to do um, a video showing um, what you can do with like old clothing tags and um, things like that. Here, let me grab it real quick just to give you a sneak peek what I got in mind. Like things like this. I got get these in the mail. They want me to go back to HelloFresh. The really nice little envelopes. Those be pretty to fix up. It's packaging from like old glue bottles or whatever. And crafting supplies. This is a some kind of foot massager. And I like the um grommet. Is that the right word? And so these got this has holes. I thought maybe I'd Figure something out and fill the holes in and use this as one, a board you put in your journal, a writing board you put your um, journaling card on so you have something firm to write on. And like packaging from craft supplies. More. See? That, that's got really good, awesome background. I might not want that. There, you know, put something else over the top of that. I mean, that's like perfect. And then you could put a few, plain piece of paper on the back of that or just leave it. A pair of gloves. Anyway, I could go through this all day, but this is going to be another video that I'm going to be doing soon. So anyway, again, this is Lori, the crafter in the mitten, and I'll see you again. Bye.